Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and another video here. If you couldn't tell from the title, we are doing something a little bit stupid this month. I guess that's the only word I can use to describe it because it's a lot. So this December, I am trying my hand at something called Vlogmas. Now, if you're not familiar with what Vlogmas is, initially it started out, I think, as just posting a vlog every single day in the month of December. It has since evolved to people just posting a video every single day, either leading up to Christmas, leading up to the new year, depending on you know their own personal stipulations. But here on my channel, we're gonna try, or we, me, I am gonna try to post a video every single day in the month of December. So you are slated to get 31 videos from me this month, starting with this one. I have a lot in store for you guys, obviously my normal content, so you're gonna get like today, my what I wore in the month of. You're gonna get my monthly haul, obviously. Uh, we have some reviews. I have all the Topic Tuesdays that I'm gonna do, as well as some extra stuff like advent calendar unboxings. My boyfriend's gonna come back and he's gonna paint my nails. I'm gonna do, maybe, these are like the only videos that I haven't pre-filmed yet. It's like the nail art video, so we'll see how those go and how disastrous they are. But yeah, we have a lot coming, so if you guys are not sick of me by the end of this month, I have not done my job properly. But with all of that out of the way, let's hop into the actual video for today, which is what I wore in the month of November. Now, I've been doing themed kind of wares throughout the past few months. I started this in September, and in September I only wore blues, and then in October I only wore like spooky or Halloween themed nail polishes. And here in November, I was like, what should I do? Let me do something. Like I wanted to do something that was kind of on theme for the month, but I think November is boring. <laughs> it's, it's the Thursday of the month. It's just like, you're almost to the fun days, but you're not quite there and you're feeling a little bit like, come on, let's go. And I ended up doing neutral November. Now for neutrals, I did black, gray, I don't think I chose any whites, but I hate wearing white nails. Um, and then I also included gold and silver because guess what? I Googled it and Google said that gold and silver count as neutrals. So I went with that. Oh, and also brown, duh. How did I forget that one? So I went through my collection and I picked some of the neutrals that I have wanted to wear or have been dying to wear. And I feel like I didn't wear as much as I had expected or at least that's what I thought now looking at it. I feel like I wore a decent amount. This was a really hectic month for me and time just kind of got away from me. I was pre-filming a lot for Vlogmas and just like stuff in my personal life. And then I just didn't wear as much as I wanted to, but I feel like I got a good chunk to share with you guys. This, like the reason why I did neutral November is because I wanted to be like, neutrals don't have to be boring. And I feel like the word neutral is really heavily associated with a uh, boring or plain. And I decided to choose neutrals that for the most part have something else exciting going on in them. So that's what we're doing today. So first of all, on November 1st, on my fingers, I started out with Julep Sigourney. This is in their Stardust finish, which I would liken to the Zoya Pixie Dust finish. However, this is like just a little bit grittier, I think. It has like really textured black running through it, as well as some silver hollow glitter. And I chose not to top coat this because in the past I have top coated this sort of texture of polish and it just looks weird. Like it makes it look slimy. I, I don't know because it's so bumpy. It just looks kind of gross and slimy. And it's one of those where the texture is part of like the appeal of it. And I didn't want to take away from that. So, so I ended up just not top coating it. It was a little bit dry feeling. These like super glitters are very, they just feel really dry and it feels like sandpaper. And so definitely um, scratched my face a few times because I didn't top coat it. And I did end up wearing a peel off base coat with this because I knew uh, trying to take this off was gonna be absolutely miserable. I don't think, why did I just spend this whole beginning of the video tightening this cap? I don't think there's like mini wears left. I don't know if you can tell, like I feel confident holding this polish like this because it's gotten so thick that it's just not, pliable anymore. I really 
think that I should probably get rid of it, but I, d I don't want to yet. I feel like I could put something in there and then loosen it up. I don't know. But yeah, so that was on my fingers. And then on my toes, I'm going to show you the hand swatch. We've been here long enough, we know. Feet are not free. I should get a t-shirt that says my feet aren't free. <laughs> I think that would freak a lot of people out. Um, I wore chinchilla though because I opened up my drawer with all my little polishes for the month and I just, my eyes went straight to chinchilla and the words professional toes popped into my head and I said, all right, let's do it. Professional toes. Now on the fourth, uh, this chipped really fast just because of, it's a thicker polish, it's textured, I didn't top coat it, and I was wearing a peel-off base coat, so like everything was working against it, so I decided to change my polish, and my friend's birthday, she was having like a little thing, and so I ended up changing it to something fun, um, and I chose Bluebird to have a field day. It's this, it's like silver and brown ish flakes. I guess they're not brown. They're like iridescent, but they look a little bit brown in low lighting. And they, they flip from green to purple, but predominantly this looks quite silver on the nails. Um, unfortunately, once again, I had misjudged my calendar and the very next day, once again, I had to go to a funeral. I don't know if like subconsciously, I just don't want to deal with it. And so I'm wearing these obnoxious colors as like a, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why this keeps happening. This is the second month in a row I've had to attend a funeral and I wore a stupidly obnoxious nail polish color. However, this time, uh, my friend who did pass away, I think that she would have appreciated it. She loved life. She lived to be just over the age of 100 and she would have been, I think, very happy to see my nails like that. She was just a very bubbly and exciting person to be around. And so I don't think that she was looking down on me and feeling too mad about me wearing a bright silver nail polish to her funeral, but I did feel bad about it. So there's that. Okay, then eight days later, November 12th, this is what I mean when I said that I just feel like life got away from me and I just didn't change my nails as frequently because usually I change them every two to three days. But eight days later, I ended up wearing Zoya's Emilia. And this is a really lovely woody brown. And because it's a plain cream, I wanted to jazz it up a little bit. And I did also have to do some nail art this month because I set a goal at the beginning of the year to do at least two nail arts a month. So I decided to do a little bit of stamping over this. And now I did use a Maniology product. This is Maniology's Coconut. I do want to say I don't actively purchase from this brand anymore. Taking a break for, I don't know, however long I feel like it. Um, I'm not saying I'll never buy from them again. But like right now, I just don't feel like it. But I do still have quite a lot of Maniology products from when I was actively purchasing from them. And I don't think that even when a brand does something that is a little bit problematic, that we should just toss everything out. You, they already got your money. You might as well get your money's worth. I don't know. I know some people have different opinions on that, but I just think that why waste the product that I already paid for? That seems kind of annoying. So anytime that I do mention Maniology products in the future, it's not new. It's from my old collection. I actually haven't bought stamping polishes in quite a while anyways, so... But yeah, so I, I did stamp over Amelia with coconut. I felt like they were going to look really nice together. This is like a creamier kind of off-white. It's not super starkly white. So I felt like they went together really well. And actually, I don't even have a white stamping polish right now. So that's what I've been using instead of a white stamping polish. And I feel like it just looks nicer with a lot of stuff because it's like a stark white is it has its place but sometimes it can come off really harsh and so I really do like a sub like a softer more subtle kind of off-white for that purpose okay and then I was feeling very chaotic at that time and so on my toes I decided why the hell not let's put pineapples have peelings too on my toes for some reason um it looked terrible like it looked really bad the problem with this polish is the glitters even though they are metallic 
they don't match the metallic of the polish dried down. So the whole polish just looks kind of flat and the metallic polish, the gold, it's quite thin. So that also just kind of makes it look a little bit on the flatter side. It's it's truly an ugly polish and that's why I bought it. I mean, that's why I have it. Um, I was convinced that this polish was cursed because I wore it once at the beginning of the year and I did end up catching our little friend COVID-19 uh, pretty much immediately after I put it on. And um, so I'm pretty sure this is a cursed polish. Nothing bad happened this time. I just got super busy. And then I, you know, I put this on on the 12th and I think I left it on for quite a while. But guys, getting these stupid glitters off your toes, such a hassle. I hate wearing glitter polish on my toes because it's just such a hassle to like try and get it off your toes. It just annoys me. So I definitely regretted this upon removal. Okay, on November 15th, I decided to change my hand mani. The hand mani? That's... That's what a manicure is. I, foot mani isn't a thing. Okay, I decided to change my manicure. Um, and I went with a BKL because I was feeling like, uh-oh, here comes the final BKL sale. I'm a little sad about it. I haven't really bought much from like most of the past releases because I just, I don't know, maybe I'm in denial. I don't know. But I ended up deciding, I was like, I gotta wear a BKL. And I wore Heisenberg. Now, this is from their Resident Evil Village collection. I pretend that it's a Breaking Bad reference because I love Breaking Bad. Actually, I just finished a rewatch of it last night. We rewatched the whole series because I wanted to watch all of Better Call Saul because I haven't seen that yet. And so every time we get to the end of the series, like there's like a couple episodes left of any show, my boyfriend's like, I don't feel like finishing it because he doesn't want it to be over. And I also don't like finishing Breaking Bad, like the last couple episodes, because Walter White kind of looks like my dad. And if you know what happens at the end of the show, it's like, mm, okay, maybe not, a little bit of trauma. Um, but yeah, I just, I finished it. I finished the last two episodes and then we started Better Call Saul, but you guys don't care about that part. We're talking about nail polish. So Heisenberg is like a brown, and it's got these like red to green, like multi-chrome flakies, really tiny. And it is a bit sheer of a polish. It has a very sheer base. And then the flakes are running through it. And somebody told me, like right when I first got the polish, that they thought it looked like coffee grounds. And I was like, yeah, yeah, it kind of does. It does look like coffee grounds on the nails. And so I think this is a really, really interesting polish. Love that. I really enjoyed wearing that for a few days. Okay, then on November 23rd, which is the day before Thanksgiving, right? Yeah, I decided to change up my hands and my toes. So on my toes, I was like, let's do another BKL. And I chose You Were My Monster. This is gray with a purple flash of shimmer running through it. This is, I think, the polish that really secured my love for the brand. I had bought one off of Polish Pickup and I really liked it. And then I bought from their website and this was one of the first ones I bought. And this made me go, yep. That's it. I love BKL. Um, unfortunately, I found them a little bit later than most people. And so, you know, but I felt like this was a really good toe color because it's pretty neutral, but it still has that fun flash of shimmer and it doesn't have glitter in it. So you don't have that hassle of like scrubbing glitter off your stupid little toes. And I just love a gray with a flash of like purple or pink or like some kind of really contrasty color. So definitely right up my alley. And then on my hands, I wore a cream matte. This is China Glaze's Sweater Weather. It is just a lighter gray and it dries down matte. I wore it glossy because I ended up, I was going to put stickers on all my nails. And the first stickers I tried to pull off my sheet, they weren't pulling up correctly, which I haven't had this issue with any other stickers from this brand. I was using Deco Miami. And the ones that I wanted to use, they just... Like, you know how there's like kind of a clear sheet over a design on a sticker? I don't know if you guys, how to describe this really, because I don't know the technical terms, but the clear sheet was ripping off of the sticker design and the sticker was just remaining on the sheet. No matter how I tried to peel it off with my fingers, with my tweezers, I tried to roll the plastic so it would roll off. Only the plasticky top piece was coming off. So I tried a different sticker from that same sheet didn't have any issues so I think it was just 
that particular design was not suited for being a sticker. But then by that point, I was so flustered that I put all the stickers on crooked. That was fun. And so that's why this manicure looks like garbage, but that's just my own fault. And I need to learn to like calm down when things are not going my way. I will have a full nail art roast at the end of this month. So look forward to that. Okay, then on the 26th, I was like, well, let me, I was like, I haven't worn enough polishes this month. So let me change my toes and my hands again. So on my toes, I was like, all right, let's do a hollow. And I chose Hollow Taco's Electrostatic. This is their black hollow. I feel like, uh, you know, it's been said before, but it does lean a little bit purple. Like it has very plummy undertones. And I thought this was going to look really cool on my toes. Um, but it doesn't. <laughs> like the hollow, it's just, I don't know if it's just because when your hands are out, you see it in a bajillion different lightings all the time. Because, you know, I don't know about you guys, but I'm always like looking at my hands all the time forever. And so whenever I'm walking through different lighting situations, whenever I'm walking outside, etc., you see it catch the hollow and you're like, okay, that's cool. And now I understand why I like hollow. When it's on my toes, I don't look at my feet. I'm just like, they're there. I don't care about those guys. Um, so every time I do happen to look at my feet, it's like not ideal lighting. And so the hollow is not popping. And so it just looks like a kind of a boring black on my toes. So I learned my lesson. Don't wear hollow on my toes outside of, no, not even outside of summer. Cause I don't wear sandals. I don't wear flip flops. I don't walk around with my toes exposed. Except for in my own home. Like, I, it's not even like a weird like foot thing. I'm not like, nobody look at my feet. Like, it's not that, even though feet aren't free. Uh, but in, you know, real life, I just don't wear sandals. I don't know. And then, if you couldn't tell, because I'm filming this in November, uh, I am wearing Great Lake Lacquers. Great Lakes Lacquers. Uh, you want pigeon milk in that. Um, when I told my boyfriend the name of this polish, he was like, what? Like, I'm sorry, what? And I was like, no, no, you know, like from Animal Crossing. And he's just like, what? Because <laughs> he doesn't pay attention to that kind of stuff. But it is, I feel like I thought it was gray. But then looking at it, it's almost like a really light, sagey blue green. But also it's gray. I don't know. It's like a pigeon color. I, pigeons are cute. And it does have a pinky yellow flash of shimmer running through it. I got this at Polish and Beauty Expo. It's part of their Animal Crossing New Horizons 2.0 collection. And I didn't buy the whole collection. I just bought the ones that I like absolutely had to have from it. And this was one of them. It is so pretty. I Like I said earlier, I love a gray with a flash of shimmer running through it. And this is, you know, the ideal. Now I just swear, is it really light blue? Hmm. I'm looking in my viewfinder. Sorry, guys. Uh, I don't know but we're going to pretend that it's gray. Okay. And then the goal, um, I'm not making any promises. I will pop it up if I did it because I'm really busy these next couple of days, but the last polish that I want to wear in this month is my Star Trek 50th anniversary Mac collaboration called Holodeck. I don't wear these very often because they are like really special to me. And so I like to wear them, you know, at just not like crazy intervals. I like to take some time in between them. And it is just like a foily gold metallic. And since I haven't really worn many golds this month, aside from pineapples have peelings too, I decided let's go out with a gold. Let's finish with a gold. And so hopefully in theory tonight or tomorrow night, I will paint my nails with this one and I'll pop up the swatch. So that was about a dozen polishes for the month of November. I guess that's not too bad, um, but I did have a lot that I just didn't get to. So I'm just gonna do a like rapid fire run through like I've been doing on the last few. Uh, first of all, I have four browns that I didn't get to. We have uh, Picture Polishes Amber, which is a lighter brown with hollow flakies running through it. We have Hollow Tacos Choco Hollow, which is a brown hollow glitter. And this one I really did want to wear. I might stick this into next month's, or I guess you're watching it in this month's uh, wear because I'm going to be doing like holiday festive type polishes. So maybe I'll stick that one in a, this month. Um, we have Nine Zeros, that's Mr. Nook to You, which is a brown crelly glitter with 
brown, like dark brown. I think they're matte glitters and then some copper square glitters and then loud lacquers extra credit, which is just a like rusty brown or some might say orange hollow. The one black that I did not wear is from Cuticula and this one's called Pretty Guardians. This is from a polish pickup and it's just got like some rainbow flakies running through it. There were two grays left. The first one is from Picture Polish. This one is called, I think, Lacodom. It's it's a it's a collaboration shade with somebody named Polina Koroleva. And it's like a same formula as the brown, just a different color base. We had Sinful Colors Cookies and Cream, which is a gray base with black matte glitters running through it. And of course, it's scented. Two golds, we had Zoya's Solange, which is a really bright and fun kind of in-your-face gold. It's, it's much brighter than the MAC Star Trek one that I showed you guys a second ago. And in a similar vein, we have this Milani one. And I've never worn, I, maybe I've worn one of the Milanis that I have, but this one is called 3D. It's just called 3D. And it's just another fun, bright gold. And I thought, oh, I should try them out. I Actually, I kind of like the bottle. It's growing on me, but I used to think the bottle was pretty ugly. And then I have four silvers that I did not get to. So the first one is from Hollow Taco. It's Rainbow Snow. This was from, I think, the first the first uh, holiday release, wasn't it? And it's just, you know, a silver glitter. I wanted a silver metallic in there, so I had chosen China Glaze's Millennium. And then every time I opened my drawer, I would kind of grab for it. And then I was like, I don't want to wear that. And so... I don't know. I, she's out of her metallics era. Uh, we have Snow Day Yay from Color Club. And I guess it's a little bit similar. They're kind of similar. They both have like the chunky hollow glitters in there. And so I just didn't grab either of them. And then Chanel Holographic. I was kind of in a mood to wear this Chanel because I had just done a video talking about like luxury nail polish recently and then I just didn't wear it. So yeah that is everything for November. I've just never really liked November. It's just not an exciting month for me. You know when it comes to things to look forward to. I know some people really look forward to Thanksgiving but like I've never been a big Thanksgiving person because it's like I like present holidays first of all. I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be honest. I like holidays where you get presents stuff I don't know I like that it's fun for me I like giving gifts I like receiving gifts and um Thanksgiving is just kind of like food and family do we really need that no I'm kidding um no it's just my grandma has always cooked really big elaborate meals for everything and so I've never really like Thanksgiving meal was not different than any other meal that she's ever cooked because she's just over the top like that so it's just like yeah whatever but yeah, that was my Thanksgiving, not my Thanksgiving, that was my November, uh, what I wore. And for December, like I said, I'm going to be doing more like festive, probably leaning heavily towards Christmas since that's what I personally celebrate. And then after Christmas, you know, like more New Year's Eve polishes. So I got to pick those polishes out. I know some people have said they want to see the process of me picking them out. It's so boring. Like I literally at like 11 p.m. on the last day of the month frantically pull down all my swatch rings and like set them on the floor and I'm like oh my god oh my god I don't have enough time which ones do I need and so it's really it's just more about watching me have anxiety than anything else so you guys don't want to see that trust me. <laughs> But yeah, that's going to be it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this first day of Vlogmas. I hope you guys enjoy the next 30 days of Vlogmas. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.